Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And uh, guys, this is a Ubuntu video. Yes, I love Ubuntu. I've been using Ubuntu for the longest. And uh, I have a couple users in my office plus clients that are using Ubuntu. And I had to upgrade them to 13.04. And they wanted to be joined to the domain. So I'm going to show you guys how to jump do, um, add 13.04 Ubuntu to a domain. So the first thing to do is you got to make sure your Ubuntu box is part of your DNS. Now, uh, I have a domain controller right here. This is my domain controller. But uh, I didn't install DNS and I have DHCP shooting my IP addresses. So I have to configure my Ubuntu machine to point to a uh, DNS server because it won't work if your Ubuntu is not talking to your DNS server. So I'm going to open up my terminal command and I'm going to do an nm tool because I want to receive uh, all this information so I can start adding it. So let's add an IP address. There we go. I need a static IP. There we go. And let's give it the default gateway. There it goes. 255, 255, 255, 0. And the DNS be my. Uh, my DNS is actually my uh, domain controller. Okay. So we're going to press uh, save on that. Okay. Looks like it's connected, and uh, I'm actually going to move this over because I'm going to be needing that. So I'm going to close this up, and let's expand this, and let's clear this out. Now, the first command that you want to do is I have my little cheat sheet right here, like always, and I will place my cheat sheet at the description part so you guys could uh, check it out rather than memorizing all the commands. So we need to... Uh, install Lightwise into our Ubuntu because Lightwise is a utility or plugin that allows us to add Linux machines to a Windows domain uh, infrastructure. Now that's done and the next command that you want to do is, I'm going to clear this out, next command that you guys want to do is this, you're going to sudo domain join dash cli join the name of your domain and administrator you're gonna hit enter it's gonna prompt you for your password your administrative password you're gonna hit enter and you should get a success if you don't get a success you get an error probably your Ubuntu is not talking to your DNS server correctly and you need to fix that so we need to reboot our machine so we're gonna do a sudo reboot and let it reboot and we're back it's finished rebooting let's log in to the machine now if you want guys you could go into your domain controller which I'm gonna do let this you know run I'm gonna go into my domain controller and do a refresh and there goes my Ubuntu machine so my Ubuntu machine is already being shown so that's a good thing so let's go back into the Ubuntu Okay, and uh, let's open up our terminal command because we need to do more things to it. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is you want to allow users to log in uh, from the Ubuntu welcome screen. So there's a couple of things that you guys need to do. So first things first, we need to get into this file, this file right here. Now when you hit enter, you, again, enter your password. Uh, and you're gonna get a blank page. Don't worry about that. But you do need to add this right here. You guys need to add this. We're gonna hit save and we're gonna close that. And again, you're gonna do a sudo reboot. Okay, so I am logged in. Let's open up terminal command again because we need to continue still doing terminal stuff. Okay, 
you want to get into this file right here so you can add something and let's give it the password so we can get into it and you want to add this I want to show you guys what you need to add again I'm place I'm gonna place my notes into a public link and I'm gonna add it into the description so you guys could actually look at my notes and rather than pausing the video and trying to figure out what I'm typing uh, you guys should just copy and paste my commands and just change a couple of things so in the members of the admin group main gain uh, root privileges you want to add this line right here which would be your domain domain admins all you, you're giving domain admins full access to it uh, hit save we're gonna close that and we need to do one last thing and that last thing is we need to get into this particular folder right here or this file actually which is the greeting location and we need to add this because if we don't add this uh, when we log off to when we log off from this machine we won't be able to see the portion to log in and we're gonna hit save we're gonna close this and we're gonna exit now I don't need to do a reboot but I want to show you guys something uh, I already showed you guys that the Ubuntu machine is there and I did create a a Batman account or user so let's log in as Batman into this machine. So I'm going to go and log out. Yes. Let's log out of there. And I probably need to do a reboot because it's the changes haven't done. So let's do a reboot. Let's restart this machine. And we're back, guys. So the restart did work out for us. And as you can see, we have a new feature called login. So let's log in. So apparently on Ubuntu you do need to, to give the domain name with the backslash and let me just give it Batman. But on the next video I'm going to show you guys how not to place this information. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to hit enter and it's going to ask for the password. And if everything goes well I should be logging in as Batman. How cool is that? So I am fully... Uh, add it to the domain as a Ubuntu user how cool is that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to add Ubuntu 13.0.4 to a Windows domain again if you guys have any questions please leave comments right below please give me thumbs up uh, please subscribe as well check out the description part because I will give you the public link to download these commands so you guys could test it out and let me know how you you know let me know how it goes uh, hopefully I catch you guys on the next video and peace out